Today, we will have three more common findings. The first one, we have trouble with properties that have cooperatives. And you're managing a cooperative and you don't want to use the HUD lease, you don't have to. You can use the occupancy agreement, but you need to check the 4350.3 handbook, chapter 6, paragraph 6-5, and make sure that your occupancy agreement has in it the paragraphs from the HUD model lease. The second finding, I'm finding this a lot with our public housing, the red conversions. I don't know how public housing does the existing tenant search, but on the HUD side, on HUD compliance, you have to have an existing tenant search on each family member. And thirdly, but not least, Social Security income. The Social Security income follows the resident, regardless to who the beneficiary is. We had an example this week that the manager says that the Social Security recipient is receiving a Social Security check, but her mother is getting it, and she lives with the grandparents. She's on the lease of the grandparents, but the management company since 2010 has not counted that Social Security income. That is a finding. You must count the income of all household members unless it's a child and you're doing the deduction because of the 480. Thank you and tune in next week for three more tips.